reviewing right now for our quiz at 11.1 through 11.2. So we should have this big packet in front of us. It is a big packet because if we had had more time, what I would have liked to do is had you like kind of work in stations and go around and like this group work on one and this group work on two and this group work on three. But I don't really think we have enough time for it. So I'm just going to kind of get through as many of these as I can. All right, question one is all about a box plot. So we're going to draw a box plot. All right. If I look here, my lowest number is 3, and my biggest number is 25. So I know it has to go between those. So I'm going to count by twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm going to go from 2 to 26. So I'm just going to count by twos. Okay. So when I look at this, and if I set these numbers up from smallest to biggest, I've got 3, 9, 10. Next is 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. And finally, 25. Okay, so I'm going to find the median. I kind of do find the middle like this, where I cross one off from each side till I find what the middle is. I feel like that's easier. 16. So my median is 16. Okay. So if I look at this first part, I have a maximum of 25. So I can put that down. I'm going to put it down as I go. I have a minimum of 3, so I'm going to put that down as I go. My median is 16. Okay, so I need to look at my first quartile. It's 10. Okay, my first quartile we think is going to be 10? I get 9.5. Because you can't count the median. You can't use the median, so it's go 1, 2, and it's got to be between those two. So we've got 9.5. So my third quartile, so I look at these four spots, and I'm going to go right in between here. So instead of like adding them up and like dividing, you do like you just, just go in the middle. Number. It's the same thing, right? Well, is it? Yeah. Between 20 and 21 is 20.5. Okay. Okay? So I've got 20.5. So then I can just make the box. Okay, the interquartile range or the IQR, remember I'm going to take the third, 20.5, and subtract it from quartile one, 9.5, and I'm going to get quartile three minus quartile one, and I get 11 for the IQR. The mean, I add them all up, divide them by how many they are. I'm going to tell you right now that's 14.37. You guys should all be able to do the mean, right? Is that number that you have to calculate? What do you round to? I guess I'm Let's try it then. You got something different? 3 plus 9 plus 10 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 20 plus 21. Plus 25. How many numbers are there? Four, eight, nine. I have 15.11. You guys are right. This is not right. 15.11. Okay, next question. Does it matter if you're like the minimum or the maximum when you do the line and then the drop? Like, does it matter where the line comes up? The left, they have to touch. No, I mean, like, did it have Oh, we're on here? Yeah. On the like, box? No. Okay, good. Okay. okay, question number two. Okay, we're going to draw. Yes, ma'am. When defining your quartiles, do you count the median? No. How many?
many of these states charge less than Michigan? Okay, first we're going to make a dot plot. My smallest number is zero. My biggest number is seven. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? It doesn't matter how you put it, right? Eight. Six. All right. North Carolina is a five. Mexico is a five. Illinois is a six. Pennsylvania is a six. Maine is a six. Arkansas is a seven. South Carolina is a six. Wyoming is a four. New Hampshire is a zero. Arizona is a six. Mississippi is a seven. Maryland is a six. Michigan is a six. Missouri is a four. Nevada is a seven. Alabama is a four. And California is an eight. Why do you think California charges so much more than everybody else? It's the most, it's sales tax, right? So it's when you purchase something. And that's where everybody goes on vacation, right? So they get a lot more taxes by people that are visiting, right? Okay. How many of these states charge less than Michigan? Six. How many charge more than Michigan? Three, six, and Yep. So more than Michigan is more than six, so I get four. What is the mean of the sales tax? It's 5.47. You guys know how to add things up and divide by how many there are. And that's it. How many of these states charge less wait, sales wait. tax? Mm -hmm. Would you add up to the, so like 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus yes. 6? Okay. How many of these states charge less than the sales tax than the mean? So the mean Four. is 5.47. Uh, try again. 6. six. <coughs> less than 5. Oh, 5 and good. Two, six. six. I get six. Okay. How many of these sta states charge more than the sales tax? Next. Okay. Draw a histogram of the thought and test scores in your paper. Okay. So I know this is out of 100 points. So I just did 100 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That seems easy enough for me. Huh? I did 100 divided by 5. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay. Because it's to make the range. So I'm going to go 1 to 21. Pardon for the interruption. Attention all staff. 22 to 42. Please dismiss the boys. 43 to 64. And the girls, JV and varsity. 64 to 84. We need to bus at the West End School Door. 85 to once again, please dismiss boys, freshman baseball, and girls, JV, and varsity soccer teams. to tip off at the left end school board. Thank you. I just didn't do that. Okay, so there is one that falls between 43 and 63. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that fall between 64 and 84. And there is one, two that fall between that. So I'm going to draw my little... Forty three to sixty three is a one. Sixty four to eighty four is a seven. Eighty five to one hundred five is a two. Okay. Does the histogram show the minimum score? Yes. Where? One. There's no minimum. There's nothing there. It doesn't show. 43 to 63, you think that shows the minimum score? So which one is it? 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 60, 64, 62, or 63? It doesn't show. But can we still answer if you have the numbers or just go off of that? We're just asking, it's asking, does a histogram show? Not, can I look at my numbers? If so you no. didn't know your numbers and just saw the history. So if there's no minimum, there's no why? Does a histogram, it doesn't because it shows the frequency. It shows me that there, there was one person that was between 43 and 63, but I don't know how much they got. Okay. 
Does the histogram show a maximum score? No. Does the histogram show the median? Yes. No. Really? What's the median? <laughs> no. How would you know it? I thought you said Yeah, but it has to be I know seven number. people are between 64 and 84, but is that 64, 74, 84, 72? We don't know. And then there's a number that is above that. What is the purpose of the histogram? Show the frequency. Show the frequency. Okay. All right. So we've done one of each kind. We can either, this is your choice, because we've got about five more minutes. We can talk, we can do another histogram. We can look at a dot plot. We can look at another box plot. We can look. Um, make another box plot, or we can talk about which data to use which. Did I say question seven or question eight? We have five minutes. We have the last one. Question eight. Is there anything else on the, on the quiz that's going to like, change your mind? I took the biggest number it could possibly be. Divided by how many boxes? Okay, so let's go over eight. Does it actually matter though? If you just do it right? Okay. Can we also go over like what two means? This is what eight is talking about. Okay, eight. A survey was made of 12 students in our class. How many pets have uh, pets they have? Here's the data 0, 0, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 0, 2, 1, 1. Which type of plot, dot, histogram, or box, would be the best way to display the data? Dot. Why do we think dot? Because it shows the best amount of these data and like how many people. Okay. So we want to use a dot. Show how much each one has. Okay. So now we're going to make a dot plot. I'm going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So at 0, I have 1, 2, 3. At 1, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 2, I have 2. At 3, I have 1. And at five, I have one. Okay. So, we're going to calculate as many of the following as you can from your plot. Can I find the mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the mean? Let's find it. Mm -hmm. That's the median. Oh, two, three, four, five. Oh, mean is adding. Mean is like the middle. middle. Yes. Okay, mean. Middle has the mean in it, so median. Did you guys get 1.41? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Can we find the um, maximum? Five. Yep. Can we find the minimum? Three. Can we find the median? Yeah. Yes. So for the median, I'm going to go cross this one off, cross this one off, cross this one off, cross this one off. I'm just starting from one side and I'm crossing from the other. Oh, you, so you can use the plot itself, you don't have to use the numbers. Right. One. Just one. Yeah, you can How? Well, how'd you do that on the plot? Just so I crossed right off now. one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six and six, it would have to be between there. Because if it's the same number you add, it's got to divide. Okay, can I find the first quartile? Wait, if it's the same number? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you add them together. Okay, can I find the first quartile? Yes. So, all right, I'm looking right here. That's my median, right? 
So here's one, here's one. One, two. So it's between two, so the answer is two for quartile three. And then, shh. And then I'm looking here. Here you go. One, 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 one. One, one. Okay, it's between zero and one, so it's 0.5. Okay, if we don't want to use a pie. Yeah, so you can totally write the numbers in order from least to greatest and, and do it. What else could you do? You could change this dot plot really easily in your calculator to a box plot, right? Oh, oh, okay. okay. How is it 0.5? It was between zero and one. Is there, is there directions on our... You can't have half a pie. No. Okay. I don't think so. You have to remember. Okay. To find the... IQR, I'm going to say 2 minus 0.5, which gives me 1.5. Okay, were there any that you could not calculate? Nope. Okay, but if you used a histogram, you can tell me why. You can say, I could not use this because a histogram does not have these things, it just shows it. Uh, do we get marked down to use like a histogram or a dot plot and we should be using the other one? There is right answers for them, like which one would make sense. If I asked you, if my big question was, how many people read books between this point and this point, you better use a history, right? right? If I ask you for something like, I want you guys to find the mean, you want to use a dot plot. If I asked you all the rest of this stuff, like median, max, min, quartile one, IQR, your dot best bet is to use a box plot because it shows you real quick. When it asks you the frequency, like how many people use between the mean? The mean, I add them all up, divide by 100. Okay, we are going to take our quiz now, so you need to clear your desk of everything except your calculator and a pen or pencil, and you need to put it up front.